The stage already has one. <laughs> uh, I, I think they are. They've got microphones at their stand right there. Bitched them out, or bitched them in, or bitched them around. Hey pal, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, it's sad, dude. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. I, ju I just realized if you didn't come and I didn't do this, it would have yeah. just been the That's what I was trying meal. to tell you. That's dude. what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Dude. This is like stage. It would make them make it look like on the day one that they're the only ones who care, dude. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm going to do something. Just to tell you, I'm gonna do something a little unexpected. What are you gonna do, dude? Wait, are you gonna pull your dick out, dude? Yeah, because of the lights, dude. You can do like you can pretend you shadow got the puppet. Yeah, dude, your no, dick is uh, a shadow puppet, I'm, dude. You know, in all seriousness, yeah, you'll you'll see. But uh, I'm, okay, I'm not. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Wait, so you are putting your dick out? Kind of. Oh shit! I just I I just needed someone to vent too real quick. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh. Hey, I believe in you. Yeah, thank you, dude. Wait, what? I hope I didn't make him quit, cause there's no way I'm winning this. Oh, you think it might shoot up the crowd? Uh -uh. Hello, wait, Totax, dude. Are you here for the debate? Yeah, yeah. I'm in the uh, in the front, dude. Get up on the stage. Oh shit! Yeah, but no one else there, dude. Uh, they're coming. Just get up here. Yeah, but what do I do up here, dude? You're just gonna sit down at the first chair right here next to me uh, oh, on the shit. on the, the the one by Turgol. Yeah, you're walking right to it. Yep, that's... Okay. Good job. Archie, yep, you get up there, next chair. Say hello. Love you, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the fit today. Super cute. Oh my god. Crane's neck around. Ooh, yeah, I like it. That's a good skirt. Yo. <clears throat> yes, yeah, same. Yeah, exactly. Fuck that. That's got no lights. The, the, the chair on the white sucks because there's no light, dude. Everybody Sit down before someone take one, dude. What? What'd you say, Archie? Everybody can hear you, I think. Wait, I don't oh, think man. they can hear. Yo, guys, can you say hello if you can hear me? See, they can't hear me, dude. Okay. Yeah, I think it's only if you're yelling. Hey, you look good today. Yo, so are you going to... Archie, are you really gonna pull your dick out, dude, and pretend it's a puppet? <laughs> Hugs. What? I have to do what's best for me. What the? What do you mean, dude? I don't think you're gonna do that. That's like, I don't think that's gonna work, hugs, dude. Hugs. Yeah. You know, in life, I mean, you're young, but I know you're smart. You know, in life, when you have to make hard decisions. Okay, now you're just making jokes. What do you mean by hard decisions, dude? Hugs. Like this, this one big dick joke to you, dude. This is serious. <laughs> this is a male campaign, dude. No, I, I know, but you need to, you need to trust. Okay. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone can hear it. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to think. I, I, I'm a. Uh, Wait, did did everyone in the audience hear that? I definitely did it on purpose. I was hoping because it'd be fucking hilarious. 
Wait, yes? <laughs> no way, dude. I feel like I, I would have we would have hurt people in the crowd. The fuck, dude? What do you mean? The last one, dude? Like... Wait. So this is like all CPU like a setup, dude? And everyone, the puppet. Don't they see this? The male set up the debate. When no one else can show up. And he gonna plan how the debate Archie. gonna go. Hey, hey. Stanley? Yeah, sad, dude. I let her talk, dude. Oh shit. Yo, what? someone tried to assassinate me earlier, dude. What do you mean? There was like 30 vehicles that blew up, dude. Yeah. Right Tugs. around the corner. Tugs, you gotta be careful. You know it's dangerous. Wait, what you mean, dude? Politics is a dirty game. Wait, what you mean by that, dude? It, it, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Oh, shit. It'll be okay. Gotta keep telling yourself that, Tugs. Are you, are you crying, dude? <laughs> I'm not crying. What are the fuck crying? is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I'm not crying. Are you crying? No, don't make me bitch slap you, dude. Please don't. My jaw hurts. Nerdy. Listen, if it goes bad, just pull your dick out and pretend <laughs> it's a puppet, dude. Then everyone gonna I'm, laugh and I'm forget. gonna I'm gonna tie it like a like a balloon knot. Uh. I'm gonna tie that shit like a knot, like I learned in in, in uh, Boy Scout. I wonder if more people are going to show up to watch this. Um, I mean, that's like seven, like 60 people in the crowd, dude. That's a... Wait, is there actually? Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Oh, no, yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah, about, yeah, 70, right. 80. Okay. I'd say, I'd have to guess there's about 71 people here. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, no, that was, that was the point. All right, we're going to give you guys some uh, police presence. We have, like, one right there. I'm going to send them to the stand. Wait, did you want to sit in the middle? Man with the white hair. No, nah, it's okay. This is fine. This is fine, Stanley. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? No frost, nice hair. Yeah, were you asking me? Yeah, thank you. You like it? Wait. Yeah, actually. It's, it's, yeah, wait, you. are you running for the, the male too, Mr. Whitetail? Yes. yes. Oh. He's the deputy. What? That's the deputy. Oh shit. Wait, you're a cop, dude? No, deputy mayor. <laughs> He's the second, you know, he got second place. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.
Yo, Tugs is already starting strong. Hello. Y'all hear me okay? Yeah. Man. All right. Welcome to the, uh, I guess this would be the second round of the inaugural city council. Uh, first term is coming to a close on the 20th. That is uh, Saturday next week. So the elections will be open. The ballots will be open until that point, roughly around 7 p.m. Eastern on the 20th. Now, we have uh, organized with the, you know, uh, graceful uh, assistance and direction of uh, Miss Thoroughbred over there, Siobhan, uh, this debate so y'all can better inform yourselves about the various candidates, their platforms, their opinions, uh, and you can just get them in the flesh. If you want to ask them something, put them on the spot. Uh, feel free once we get to questions. We're going to just start off pretty basic. Uh, I'd just like to get each person up here talk uh very briefly about like your party and your overall platform let's keep it in like a you know 30 second type elevator pitch uh and then we'll move on to some more substantive questions i would ask that you guys be respectful as you can obviously you may feel the need to yell things out at different times but let's try to keep some level the 13. Decor. all right uh, and with that we i guess we'll start with the uh, incumbent mr mayor uh, mr thoroughbred okay we got to match the timing dude Hi everyone, uh, I'm Maximilian Thoroughbred. I am the current mayor of Los Santos. I was fortunate enough to be voted in the last time by a lot of you in the crowd. Um, <clears throat> I've spoken to many of you personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, most of you know what I'm about, but for the sake of the elevator pitch, I'll hit you now with the facts. Uh, 15 minutes after taking office, I lowered taxes across the board. Uh, and after being gifted the, the ability to do so by the state, I lowered them even further. Uh, I stand for less work, more pay, meaning less time on the back of a sanitation truck or in a G6 truck, uh, and more pay at the end of the, the shift that you are doing to ensure that you are able to enjoy your lives in Los Santos, uh, not slaving away day in, day out. Uh, this pay raise applies to not only clean workers of the city, but uh, also doctors, EMS, uh, even the police department. Um, and that is what I will be operating on moving forward. I believe that the state has a large amount of money, and I believe that that large amount of money should be reinvested into all of you. Thank you. That's right. Do I just take the stage now? I think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, I don't know what I'm going to say, dude. Man. Hello. I'm Michael Simone, <laughs> the current deputy mayor. Uh... So the TLDR is I do plan on bringing back fishing because a lot of people do want that. Uh, but at the same time, I also do feel like with the tools that we've now been given, there is a possibility for us to improve pay and help out people across the board. There is still some problem areas that we do want to improve. Uh, other than that, I do feel like as what we have done as the mayor's office is a pretty good baseline. And we do want to keep that going. We want to make sure that everyone is being treated equally and we try to look after everyone as well. So I think that's, that's about it. Ahem. I hate this. Yeah. Ahem. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name's Little Tugs, also known as Danny Miller. Danny Miller, my government name, dude. That's why I like Little Tugs. Um, you know, I'm just a 19-year-old with a dream. And I think, you know, instead of using all kind of boring word, my platform pretty simple. If a 19-year-old can understand it, then probably everyone can, dude. You know, I mean, like, you don't need the political speak. Um, I want to keep the police department accountable. And I have shown that I can do this because I beat them back to back in court. And the first one that make them pay me money for trying to put the false charges on me. I want the police, when they talk to you, they don't treat you like a piece of shit and assume you're just a dirty criminal, dude. You people matter. 
and they work for you, not the other way around. And that include the government, dude. And that would include me if you vote for me, dude. I also want to see um, good pay for everybody, but I don't want us all to be tied down to this day-night bullshit. There should be maximum amount of time. Everyone work every week on their job. Let's say 20 hour. And then once you're done, that's it. So then you don't have to be competing with people that do wine 80 hours and you can pick and choose when you work. I also want to bring representation to the sewer people because there's a lot of people that live down there and the government trying to lock it down. And that's not fair, dude. <clears throat> Thank you. Yo, I think I almost pissed myself, dude. <laughs> Hello, Los Santos. I'm Archie Archer. And I'm so grateful I was able to get this far. And I want to thank everyone I have met for their support. I am humbly dropping out from this race. And I am endorsing what? Maximilian Thoroughbred. Oh my god. I truly want what is best for this city. And I've come to the conclusion that Max's vision aligns with mine and he is more experienced. Having a second term will be more beneficial and productive for the city. I hope to have the chance to run again in the future. And I want to thank you all for your support again. I'll resume my civilian oversight board duties. And I look forward to continuing working with Max. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Archie. We love you, Archie. Woo! What the fuck? Oh my god. Archie, I didn't make you quit, did I? No, Stanley. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Archie, please. Wait, can they hear me in the crowd? Yeah, even when you're <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> all right uh we'll go ahead and uh we'll do like yeah if y'all ever done like fantasy football uh we'll do the snake method so uh first up for this question will be mr miller uh so the question to all candidates one at a time is going to be um how will you affect change in the Yo, upcoming so term good. uh to ensure the stable growth of both our city and our values so what are your primary things that you would change that you think uh, will stimulate growth and promote good values in this city? Mr. Miller, you're first. Oh, Mr. Miller, at least of Mr. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> um, I was about to say it. Like, <clears throat> the same name almost. Um, I already touched on maximum amount that you can work a week and just being able to choose when you can work. Because I think, you know, everyone being tied down to when the sun come up and come down, you got to like pick and choose, like you got to stop what you're doing and not get to like hang out with your friends and do other things. I think that's going to make it so everyone on a lot more even playing field and they don't feel like they got to work all the time. That's going to drive the prices down because you're not competing against multi-millionaire hunto and stuff. The second thing though, is I don't think there's enough people that get to try to start their business. We got all these like property that abandoned. Like why? I think that the city should be able to lease that out and let people like start their locksmithing business and share the pay with the city to pay for those location. Because the more business there is, the more vibrant the city is and more opportunity for people instead of just working for the state. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, going forward, I think we need to make sure that everything across the board is kind of balanced out. So we don't want people to kind of flip flop. We want people to do what they, they want to do. If you want to do sanitation, obviously that should be your job that if that's what you want to do it should pay the equal amount as any other job so going forward we want that to be the same for every single sector if you want to do g6 if you want to do crime you want to do lumbering you want the payout to be the same to to make it feel like you are earning the same amount as everyone else as for 
businesses, we do want people to branch out. Uh, we don't want people to be locked down. If you want to start a new mechanic store, mechanic shop somewhere else, obviously we want that to happen. As of right now, I feel like the mayor's office has done what they could. To the people that don't know, a lot of these business proposals are already approved, but are being reviewed by another party. So, but we want to keep that going. It's not that you cannot get a business. We want businesses to go, but right now it's limited in terms of what we can do. We do support everyone wanting to do their own thing. And I feel like we should do the same going forward. So. <clears throat> I hate my life. Hi. Uh, what are the uh, the main complaints about uh, our current administration has been? Where, where are the businesses? What's going on with those? What's happening? Um, I, I, I have to say this to everyone. Basically, the... You hear that honking? Everyone. <laughs> I'm sure it was light. <laughs> um, okay, let me let me let me explain the process that must be done in order to get a business. One, you submit it to the 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 mayor's office. Oh. Two, I have to submit a, after we review that. I have to submit that to the chief justice. And then after that, I need to, it needs to be submitted to the state. And then after that, it goes back to the Chief Justice. And then after that, it goes back to me. Uh, right now, we are at step three, i.e. it goes to the state. Um, my wife and I have worked hard and diligently in order to ensure that everyone who has an entrepreneurial spirit has had their business reviewed, be it for approval or denial, in order to then be pushed along in that process. Because that is a, a big part of what's missing for the actual growth of Los Santos is giving the actual people of Los Santos the ability to operate out of these buildings, like Mr. Miller said, uh, with the with the machinery that they need, with the products that they want to make. Uh, and I have some news about that. Uh, for for quite a bit of time, the Council of Eight considered making these businesses something that felons would not be able to enjoy, uh, in order to reward people who were uh, clean. Uh, citizens of Los Angeles, which is a feat in of itself. Um, however, I am pleased to inform you that in the future, there will be opportunities for felons to own businesses like, for example, uh, a record label. Uh, you know, they don't produce like an actual product, right? But per se, like an actual like, um, like food or, you know, furniture or whatever. But, you know, it's still a place for people to maybe get back on the right track and to still enjoy that economic prosperity while simultaneously um, rewarding people who are clean in order to give them different... That's actually huge. Basically different access to the T business chat. circuit. Even uh, if other candidates... Campus. And Tugs knows uh, Long this, story short... Use any uh, of... This is Tugs's is way... Focusing on getting that rolling... If people in order win to allow people and take to, these uh, ideas that Tugs is saying... In Los Santos. That's really uh, good. Thank you. Yeah, we we ultimately I think we want Dab to win. Alrighty, uh, and again, as we're doing the snake format, we'll start with uh, Max on this next question. Uh, question is going to be: um, the City Council has heard a number of. Uh, requests recently related to the well-being pay you know maintenance and other things related to first responders uh what are your thoughts on the state of uh you know ems pd the first responders out on the front lines dealing with the city when it's on fire both literally and figuratively max you're up first uh for a long time First, uh, first responders were in a bad spot, and I would say that they still are in a bad spot. Um, I think that working EMS, for example, is probably one of the most, uh, unre not unrewarding, but uh, most thankless jobs in Los Santos. And in order to compensate for that, when I was imbued with the, the powers by the state to do so, I pretty much instantly raised their pay. I think EMS is getting uh, $1,300 per hour right now, which is, uh, more than doctors, more than lawyers, 
more than city council. Yo, J9, uh, the, thank you for the 200 biddies, man. Uh, I myself, right now, uh, courtesy of my fiscal policy, which is, you know, minimum work, maximum pay for you guys, I'm actually making $1 an hour right now. Um, as for first responders, um, my wife and I, have, uh, my chief of staff, have flirted with the idea of, you know, trying to really tackle the inherent problems at the uh, the LSMG. That's the Los Santos Medical Group. Uh, those are doctors, EMS, uh, to figure out. Uh, there were, recently, there was a resignation from a longtime uh, EMS chief and her girlfriend, who was the deputy chief, I guess. Uh, I will say right now that EMS as a uh, whole is fortunate to have uh, Mr. Happy leading them right now. Uh, he's a good man. I've spoken to him quite a few times. He's on duty a lot. Uh, his deputy's cool, too. Um, right now, what first responders need most of all is to, we need to respect their work and to ensure that they feel like their role in Los Santos proper is something that is is valued by everyone else because it oftentimes is something that is overlooked or taken for granted. Uh, I myself uh, have taken it for granted quite a few times. Um, I believe that one way that we as a group, uh, should you be interested in taking this challenge with me, is to uh, stop with the self-transport. Uh, it is dangerous. Uh, it, technically, it's illegal. It's reckless endangerment, which is a felony. Um, and that alone, you know, provided that there are enough EMS on duty, uh, will most certainly empower them to feel like they're actually out there making a difference. Um, as for the police, uh, who are also first responders, I did draft up the, uh, the controversial, controversial uh, police con continuity plan, which was a plan to finally give the LSPD some actual outside oversight instead of uh, hiding in their little cockroach holes waiting for the state to come down on them with a hammer when they finally fucked up enough times visibly for the state to come down on them. Uh, and it is with that power that the mayor's office has uh, finally given them the oversight that they need in order to ensure that they have the tools that they have to succeed. I still remember a, a meeting that I had with uh, all three of the LSPD captains the night before I put this up to the council vote, uh, the PCP, that is. Uh, and I, I remember feel like Tug should uh, be like Brooke Ruth the, suggest treason the wolf to me because the, she the was uh, today she, she suggested the overthrowing police. the council of eight a month ago in order to uh, the the combat my idea worse. that there would be any entity in the government that would provide oversight for the LSPD, uh, which, of course, was so disgusting to me. I kicked them all out of my office, uh, went to the council room the next day uh, and got the PCP passed in order to. Uh, I began attempting to correct uh, all of the blunders that they, these three captains had essentially done. Um, Ruth instantly <laughs> and without apology stopped signing on to duty because she was under investigation for treason. Uh, Turner, who had been absent for a whole month, uh, did show up briefly and continued to basically not show up and then eventually resign himself. Um, and the reason they did this is because in that meeting, good citizens of Los Santos, they told me to my face, uh, Mayor Max, it's going to take six months to have a functional chain of command. Six months from that day that I was speaking to them. And it was then that I knew that the PCP was something that was required uh, so that I could give the good cops of the LSPD the opportunity to be realized for their talents instead of fucked around by a bunch of power-hungry megalomaniacs who could not understand and admit that their attempt at a, a, tri a triarchy had just completely failed not only themselves, but the people of Los Santos. Uh, I look forward to continuing to working with the first responders, uh, the police included. Uh, thank you for listening. I I agree with a lot of things that Max just said. EMS Yo, time for contrarian Tugs, dude. Job, and I think Tugs is going to do it. Do not seem to care too much about them. They are out there to try and save your life. They do come out when when you are in need. And people don't seem to to realize that. Uh I did, I talked to a, a few people not too long ago about going on a ride along because one one thing is hearing it from EMS and hearing it from people that how bad it is to go and do your job 
but another thing is is going out there and experiencing it because people don't seem to realize that we we need ems we need them to save our life when you when you go out there and you hit a local and you eat shit they're there to bring you back and put you on your feet so you can go out back out there and, and do your thing <clears throat> and for some reason people just do not they, they take it for granted they just they shit on the people actually out there saving your life it, it goes for both ems it goes for doctors too that you you go to a hospital they are there saving your life and you're like i i don't want to be here which is fair because nobody wants to be in the hospital the hospital is not a nice place to be but they're they're there to try and save your life they're trying trying to make your life better and i feel like people need to realize that i do still plan even if i do not get elected to go out and ex experience this and and just see how it is to be an ems in terms of the pd like max said they were in a rough spot when we first got elected i think personally that they're in a better spot i think they're not perfect as of yet i think there's still things that can't no, be no hell no uh i i don't think it's as bad as as bad as it was a few months ago but there's still, definitely still a lack the problem is also that pd as a whole is also a thankless job that people they they shit on the PD. So there's a there's a turnaround which is not something that we want. We want people to stick around. We want people to enjoy their their job. We want people to not f uh, lose interest. Because the issue is that as of right now, people get their job. Somebody else has to teach them that job, and then somebody falls out. They have to carry and take over that person's issues and 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 workload and it just keeps being an issue that keeps accumulating and we just never get to that point that we want to be but we want that there's something that i we definitely want to improve going forward is that people want to go to go to work oh shit. and do their job and not have people shit on them all day basically so that's about it for the first responders yeah <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to break it into the two different parts as well. Let's start with EMS. Uh, EMS should not be having to fight and struggle to like fix their uh, EMS ambulance because they already have a hard enough job. I think first off, state should be paying for that, not them having to pay from their pocket because they're the ones that are truly trying to save our life every day. Secondly, they need to have a helicopter so they can save people that get injured on like Mount Tiliad so they're not trying to kill themselves trying to climb up there with their ambulance and stuff. The third is I think one of the biggest problem that even the civilian have when it come with the EMS is EMS go all the way to Polito and someone they get there and there's no body because that person probably waiting there for 15 minutes wondering if EMS gonna come or not. And that's not on the fault of the EMS or the person that had to be rushed to the hospital by their friend because they don't want their friend to die. So I think the biggest investment outside of the ambulance and the and the helmet chapter is a better like system where the person who calling 911 can know that somebody actually coming. So that way they know not to leave and they're not having to guess whether they got to take the, you know, the, um, you know, call the, the secondary local EMS or whatever you want to call it, dude. Um, now let's move on to the other thing. EMS saving lives. But there is a problem. I'm going to disagree with the two. The police department was today than it ever has been, dude. Some of these police officers are like children that need a babysitter to beat them over the head. They have lost their complete discipline. They are shooting people without any reason. I want to point you at the court case from two days ago in which they shot up myself. They shot me hands up without a weapon in my hand while I was in the highway. And when the judge said, you wrong and paid me $20,000 for 
for them trying to market model me. The response by one of the captain was, maybe I should shoot him in the head instead next time, dude. <laughs> and I think some of you in the audience probably already also experienced this. You're just trying to do your job, doing your grime, doing your tow truck, and the police come and they treat you like a criminal. You're not even doing anything illegal. I have videotapes that will be released of interview from various police officers. It's going to be released in the next 48 hours. Some of them are going to shock you. In one instance, when asked, why is the mass murder of one police officer who killed, who shot at his own cops yesterday, why was he only charged with small crimes when others who have shot cops have been given so much? The answer was, those other people are criminal scumbag. But this guy, he a cop, and he just mess up a little bit. You're going to see another video of a officer who pulled a gun on a civilian. And when asked, why did that happen? The answer was, they were just having a bad day. These people, these police, they work for us. They, things need to change so they know they work for us, dude. And finally, in order to compensate for the anger they got, I will put a program in place where the people of Los Santos will pick instead of these bonuses that they get because they working a scoreboard and trying to stack charges just to like win some points and more paycheck. Instead, the people are going to vote who the best cop of the week is and they're going to get a turbo dude because we know that's what the police love. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do need to uh, just point out, in, uh, you know, in fairness to your understanding as the public and the other candidates up here, uh, most people in the inaugural city council uh, were in favor of the concept of an EMS helicopter at some point. Uh, that was raised in the first week or so. All of us. Uh, Yes, um, I, I'm just being safe by saying, you know, most, if not all, uh, we're in favor of it. Uh, the issue is, is that uh, currently the way that it is set up for PD and EMS, uh, they kind of uh, keep what they kill, so to speak. So much like you guys out there who are not given a budget oh, for your dude. social group or whatever else you take part in, uh, PD and EMS only make their own salaries. And if they want to upgrade their equipment, buy better cars, things like that. Uh, they would do so the same way any of you do. Uh, so the state has effectively uh, decided against issuing them large purchases like a helicopter, for example. Uh, that being said, uh, I have another question for the panel, starting with uh, Mr. Miller there. Um, so what huh. is your overall approach to fiscal policy? Uh, and what would you do to ensure the state budget stays balanced? And before Mr. Miller comes up here, I will offer some context here. Uh, in addition to what I've just said about PD budgets, you know, EMS budgets, uh, the way that it currently works in our Yo, economy civilian, is that the all prime government sub. salaries, so all pay everything that would be given out to PD, including potential budgets or anything like that. Uh, it is all derived Yo, through Carmen, tax revenue. Thank you for the raid. Uh, there is no magical pool of money where the state will just, you know, sell off bonds and, you know, give us a cash infusion. If the state account hits zero, we're all fucked. Uh, so, you know, that in mind, how would you approach fiscal policy to make sure we don't hit zero uh, and end up in another crisis? Mr. Miller. Ahem. <clears throat> Yo, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know what the fuck he just said, dude. All I know is we trying to get those paychecks and trying to be fair in how much money we getting. Okay, like fiscal, what the fuck, dude? Like, listen, dude, like we get the paycheck at the bank. We work hard. And if people need the money, like I'm sure like there's people that can like figure out what the heck these words mean. And, you know, put I'm going to put the export in place. That can help balance all that, you know, instead of using these complicated words that, you know, just make things sound complicated, but probably a hell of a lot simpler. Thank you. 
<laughs> we want to make sure that the, the government still has a, a as a budget as a whole. Um, as something like I said earlier, we want to make sure that everyone is enjoying that work that they do. So if if our budget is running low, obviously we, we would ch make the changes that promotes a, a healthy work-life balance, but keeping it in a way where people can choose what they want to do. So if you still, again, want to work sanitation, you want to work G6, you want to work Grime, we make sure that you're still getting paid the same amount so you can keep that job. At the same time, we have been trying to promote events across the board. So if you do, if you do want to go out, you want to make an event, uh, all you have to do is basically just make sure that you note down your expensive expenses and we will make sure to give you the money back that is something that i want to do going forward as well because events is something that does drive the city having people doing concerts uh whatever else you really can imagine is something that we do want to promote so that is something that we still want to keep there but we also want to make sure that again you, you, you try do the job i mean you tugs do. wouldn't you know what the fuck any of those words mean G6 if you are a person that is currently in crime. <laughs> you know? We just, again, balancing it. Making sure that everyone is getting paid the same, making sure that everything is, is balanced across the board. Thank you. Hi. Uh, right now, my fiscal policy, as previously stated, is less work, minimal work, maximum pay. Uh, I have been reinvesting the state's funds into ensuring that people who work uh, civilian jobs are being rewarded as much as is possible. This includes, uh, you know, stuff like senior bonds and stuff. Um, now, like Mr. Alan Crane said, huge fucking problem if that, uh, that budget goes into uh, zero. Because that means you guys no longer start getting paid. Uh, however, fortunately for all of you... I have done extensive testing with people from all over Los Santos in regards to these jobs. I've observed the trends and I have seen what needs to be done, when it needs to be done. Uh, right now we are in a spending phase. This is to ensure that everyone is able to recover along with Los Santos economically. Uh, and I foresee that being the case for the next couple of months uh, at minimum. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, I had some yep, other questions thanks. written Thank down, but so to be much. honest with you, uh, I think I've heard enough of the typical uh, pitches and, you know, stances and all that political shit. Uh, I'd rather hear you guys ask some questions. So uh, if we could form sort of like a line towards the front here. Oh, if anyone shit. has These any questions they'd like to Tablar, ask of think the of the prime or sub. a specific candidate, uh, feel free to uh, do so. Up at the microphone there, just one at a time. Thank you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay, I have one question for the candidate. What are we going to do to stop the blue on blue violence? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, which... Are you talking about the, uh, <laughs> the cop yesterday that shot Captain Slacks in the face six times? Yeah, what are we going to do about the PD so they stop shooting each other? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is like never happened before oh yeah it has it like ever again? no uh, oh, I mean, oh he's, he in, he's in prison right yes he is. and he got fired right yeah, he is. Yeah. so so yeah. no probably not okay well actual question okay i just wanted to serve you okay when are you, when <laughs> yeah. are you going to abolish dog town and when are you getting rid of it um i don't know uh, I know you guys have some uh, some vocal concerns about Dogtown. Uh, I certainly am annoyed to pieces by Bobby Charles on... <sighs> Bobby, it's a mayoral debate. Hey, off the state, Bobby. Uh, Bobby. Uh, you know what, Bobby? Bobby, why don't... Oh, well, it, 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 just speak, speak for a moment, Bobby, please. It just let him speak, yeah. Hey, hey, hey can everybody hear me on here? Hey, guys, 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 you don't... Where's Lenny at? Where's Lenny when you need him? Don't call him in. Guys, you know, what's, what's with all the concerns about my beautiful dog town? 
Which with all the concerns about Imagine, dogs, thank you for the six months, man. Ray Wall, thank you for the prime. Oh, oh, oh. You're wrong, Dundee. You don't get gunned down like dogs. You get done, gunned down like maggots, Dundee, because that's what you people are. You never learn. You gotta keep getting done. You gotta keep getting gunned down. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do nothing. And you're gonna get sick. Fuck you, Bobby Jones, you piece of shit. Call me a maggot one more yeah. time, Bobby. Look at him. Look at him. Not even reform. Not even reform. They leave my penitentiary. So so rebellious. Fuck you, Hench. Fuck your penitentiary. Ahem. Um. So, listen. We all know Carmine and Bobby kind of a bit, dude. And they probably power tripping in Overdale. Uh, I gotta use this opportunity. Like, listen, dude. Like, uh, I think if you facing a lot of time in prison and you don't want to spend time with them, I think people, uh, people that be facing charges should be given a option to do like probationary work for like sanitation or some alternative. Because not every sentence should require you to have to deal with sitting and dealing with these guys in prison for it's God knows how long. Dogs. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Thank you. Just beat Bobby's ass and uh, Carmine's ass. Wait. Let's beat their ass. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 right now, not right now. Not right now. Hey, credit. Nice. Thank you. Uh, next question, anyone? I got a question. Sure. Who are you, sir? Oh, it's me, Matt Rhodes. Are you speaking into the microphone, Matt Rhodes? Can you speak in the microphone? I think if he stand up on the stage, we can everyone can hear. Yeah, come up, come up on the stage and ask. Stage. Oh, I picked it up. Come up on yeah, just, stage. Just come, come up on stage. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. No, no, I'm not stealing. I'm I not feel stealing. like Tugs is accidentally um, doing better I'll, I'll than I expected to him to. Uh, can, wait, can you hear me? Let me, let me. Yeah, well, everyone, everyone can hear you when you're on stage. Yeah. But Perfect. Tugs is very so, much like I'm keeping it. What uh, would hello, Tugs say? But with Tugs Hi. being a civilian, I have a question regarding he's... something you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, um, yep. earlier today you had mentioned that uh, you only get paid a dollar an hour. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, is that something? Was that just like a talking point, or like? No. Was that something you did like very recently? Uh, I've been getting paid a dollar, uh, probably for like the past two and a half weeks, and that's that's courtesy of the way that I've uh, directed the state funds currently to uh, <laughs> pay better for basically everyone else in the city. Got it. What was your pay prior to? Uh, I really don't know. It's it's like it's not. I, I get paid based on how well the uh, the budget is doing. Wait a minute. Mhm. Mm what? So, so let me get this straight. Well, uh, let, let, me, let, me, let me let me let me explain this to you very yeah, very yeah, very ahead, very carefully. If if the state is making a lot of money at the expense of everyone in the crowd and you. Uh, that extra money gets funneled into the mayor's paycheck. That's just the way that it works. Ah. What? Uh, last question. If you had to sort of, uh, guesstimate how much money you've earned within your term, do you know how much that would roughly be? Um, probably over the last three months, probably about like 150000 probably, ish. Got it. Okay. I guess that really isn't wasn't my last question. How, how do you afford one of them carbonizers? Uh, I took out a loan. Ooh. How much was the car? Uh, two hundred seventy thousand dollars. What? Mm, okay. Ish. All right. Are you are you my accountant, Rhodes? No, no. I was just curious. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, whether or not you're good with money or anything, or should be in charge. Shut uh, up. Well, I, I, I'm I'm. I'm quite good with money, and more more than that, my uh, my wife, uh, former judge Siobhan Thoroughbred, is has a master's in finance. Oh, okay. 
Hi. All right. Hello. All right. Is it safe to assume that this is a package deal? If you were to be the mayor, would she be, still be the chief of staff? Of course. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's the only questions I got for now. Did okay. this motherfucker just interrogate your ass? Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Well, welcome to my life. Welcome to my life, dude. What you mean? It's my every day, dude. Uh, hello. Can everyone in the crowd hear me okay? What up? Okay, awesome. Uh, hello, everyone. Name's Silas, Silas Moreno. I have a question for Mr. Thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. There was a recent incident where your Carbonazar was towed in front of City Hall as yeah. a result of an illegal park. Right. And You're the one who flagged it. I did not flag it, no. Okay, sure. Norman Adams didn't tell you to flag my car out in front of City Hall? Uh, no, I didn't flag it. Okay, sure. Uh, if I can continue my question. Yeah, please. <laughs> Go on. In bro, the this following is too days much fun, bro. Tow, this is too much multiple fun. Multiple tow workers reported that their wages were cut by roughly 10 to 15%. Can uh -huh. you clarify as to whether these two incidents are related at all? And if so, whether that goes against your campaign motto of less work and more pay? Uh, so, for a long time, the uh, and this, this kind of goes back into what I was talking about with, uh, with testing uh, the new powers that were imbued to me by the state. Towing, at one point, accounted for uh, all... Uh, group 6 and Grime combined was less... Uh, it, it cost less to pay them out from the state budget than towing alone. Uh, and in order to stop the horrible hemorrhaging that was happening to the state account because there was some sort of error on the back end that was causing it to be basically charged like two times Yo. Uh, or way more than it was supposed to be, uh, I did drop towing uh, almost immediately down once I realized that. So basically the way that the, it worked is at first I could not control towing pay. Yo. Uh, Curtis, then I could wait, control towing. I need, pay. I need I saw, someone oh God, in the crowd. Towing is costing the state ten million dollars about... in seven days compared to the seven Curtis, million dollars of Group Six at Grime. Uh, can I'm going you to drop that immediately? Ask me about uh, and the the the, the uh, tow pay actually pay um, was dropped uh, well before I uh, had my car towed out in front of City Hall by Zolo? Uh, yeah, Norman yeah, yeah. Adams and uh, Ophelia. I can confirm, since I have access to the same things, that the sliders or anything hasn't been changed for ever. It's been the same across the board. I did raise towing today, though. Uh, I don't know if Arya, I don't have her number 100%, down. So. Yeah, Chris is about Hooray! to go up. I retract my statement. Great. Thank you for answering my question. I appreciate it. Ain't no problem. Is that Chris King? Oh my hey, hand, hey, Daddy. Hop on up. Yes. What's are up, we, boys? Are we are we loud already? Are we loud? Uh -huh. is, that, is, is that Zolo? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Zolo? What's um, up? What's up, Max? What's your uh, what's your guys' question? Uh, I have a question for Tugs and uh, for the current mayor, but I'm gonna let Z get his shit on. Okay. Yeah, I have a question for this like 19 year old because I want to know if uh, he knows shit type shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, I got you, dude. Can you guys all in the crowd hear me, dude? Just like wave your hand. Yeah. Like you just yeah. don't care. Yeah, what that dollar? Um, I kind of, I'm kind of curious. Like, what's uh, what's the pay for jobs gonna look like, and what do you, uh -huh. what do you have like planned for that? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Like, okay, the, like the question, like way before with the the fiscal, I don't even know what the fuck words they were using, but like, or the like the pay goes up and down or whatever the fuck. All I, I can tell you this. Uh, I work G6, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 with a lot of my G6 friends like Alexando and Blondie and a bunch of the other cool people, dude. Um, I've also worked all the way up uh, in the last month doing grime and rusing 60 weapon a week and building it back up. I've done tow trucking. Um, I've even done a little bit of sanimation. Uh, my point being that I've had a lot of experience with a lot of these jobs and I know what, how each job have its own struggle. You can look at some of the numbers and be like, oh my God, why making so much money, dude? But I also understand that crime, for example, the, that people losing entire days worth of work just cause 
the the I don't know the get they won't take the package or something, and then all the repair costs that come with it. So I'm sure it's easy to just look at these like numbers and make it think that one job making more than another, but I know the reality is a lot more complicated. And so not only with my experience that I got from working myself, but also by relying on people like Alexander Bwandi, the people in the tow, the people doing the grime, um, that the amount people making going to be based on how much it costing them to do the work in the first place. Okay. I appreciate that answer. Thank you. My turn. Oh, uh, and yeah, yeah. And guys, um, whoever wins mayor gets a mayor song. Let's, I'm just putting that out there from now, you know, oh, shit. The song Thank you, Zola. Fire. All right, go ahead, Chris. All right. I got a question for mayor dabs currently, sir. A long time ago, I was injured. I was hurt. Mm -hmm. A cop accidentally hit me, but I remember you stopping in the middle of your day to see if I was all right. You kneeled down to me. You said, sir, just because you might be a criminal doesn't mean I don't care and I'm here and you gave me care. Are you going to continue to give the care that you gave to me to the rest of the people of the city? The care that you know damn well that we deserve? Because I, I just want to make sure you're still going to do it. I, uh, the thing that really gives me joy these days is meeting new people and talking to them and helping people just like you, Mr. King. And it, it is my express pleasure to do so at every given opportunity. I am always in the yellow pages. I'm always at City Hall. Uh, contact me, call me, beat Dick me Ryder. if you want to reach me. <laughs> I'm about to answer your phone, dog. I know, Thanks. you're always there. I actually... And Tugs. Yeah, sad day. A man of great honor. 19 years old and standing strong. Yeah. I know you to be a man of the streets and a man of knowledge. Will you hold everyone accountable in the police that a man could go and grab something from the grocery store and not be profiled just because he might want to steal some chips? These cops are crazy. How um, will you control and put these motherfuckers in their place? I think <clears throat> the biggest lack that police have is basic professionalism because I don't think they know what that word mean. I think that if you are not actively believed to be doing a crime, they don't have like the evidence for it. If they coming up to you, harassing you, profiling you because what they think you might have done or what you think they might you be involved in, those motherfucker need to be pulled out and thrown off the duty, dude. Because they're the ones that creating the criminal and making people do things that they otherwise would not do. Because they don't feel protected. They feel under attack. Oh my mm. God. You hear it today, guys. And I just want to say, I'm Puerto Rican. And the Latino community is with Tugs and Mayor Dab. Yay. Yeah. Hooray. Oh, the way. Oh, the way. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uriel, you're up next. Hello. Hello, Mr. Whitlock. Uh, yeah, my name is Uriel Whitlock. Uh, just for my benefit and the rest of the citizens of Los Santos, uh, could you all please share your combined combat levels and also your fishing levels in RuneScape? Uh, 105, almost 106, and my fishing level is 71. Mike? Uh, 100, and my fishing skill is, is uh, non-existing. Oh. What the heck is a woundscape, dude? Yeah. All right. That answers everything for me. Thank you. Thank you, Uriel. Uh, Turgul, I think you're next. What up? <coughs> what up? Hello. Hey, huh. This is a question for Michael and the other guy. Since Max answered this already, 
Who would the chief of staff be for you guys? In, in my case, that would be uh, Jenny Hall. If Jenny Hall refuses to take the position, it would probably be Siobhan. Hello. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, for me, it is very important that these seats that be opening, uh, whether it's uh, on this board of eight people, whether it's the uh, advisory stuff that those people is around. So the way that I would like to do this is I would give a four day window where people can show their interest. And those that I feel have the most like passion to do it. And the experience would be taking that position. So you don't have like anyone in mind all right. at all yeah. or, <clears throat> um, I think there's plenty of people, some that I know, some that I have yet to meet and hopefully meet after this event that can fill that position. So I would open that up. Word. All right, so he got no plan. I see. Uh, one more question, quick, for Max. Um, when are we going to get skateboards in the city? You guys want skateboards, bro? Yeah! Yeah, yeah we uh, fucking yeah, do. I I promise I will petition to the state to import skateboards um, and they won't be <laughs> signed by Bam Margera, oh, yeah. which makes them even cooler. Wow. Fuck wow. yeah. That's great. But my I, that's all my questions. Uh, next, sir. What's your name? Uh, Bringle Dingus. Bringle Dingus. Well met. Uh, what's your question? Uh, so Dude, I love how much pressure Tugs how, has brought like, in. The, the EMS already get paid like a lot more than everybody. Yeah. But there's still like extended periods of time where you can call for EMS help and there's nobody around to actually right. help. Because being an EMS, it fucking It's hard. Sucks. It's hard. Yeah. So outside of just, you know, increasing the amount of money that's being paid to the EMS, what do you guys plan on doing to actually improve the lives of the EMS so that people are like, you know, actually you know, being EMS. Um, one way to do that is to kind of probe uh, for, because, you know, they spend a lot of time in their ambulance, um, uh, making that driving experience more comfortable in the form of, and, and I'm not, once again, like the Chief Justice said, I'm not proposing that the state pay for brand new vehicles for them, but, you know, uh, putting out the feelers stateside in order to determine, you know, what is going to be available to them to make their job more engaging and more exciting. Uh, I think that's probably the biggest issue. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, just to find something else for them to cruise in. I, and yeah. then, uh, help <laughs> them uh, by way of my fiscal policy of, like you said, making sure they get paid basically more than everyone else in the city uh, so that they can easily afford that stuff and get out there on the street. My, I'm up next. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think the primary thing is just... Making sure that people realize that we need EMS, we need to make sure that they they enjoy their job. Yo, Making shorty. EMS and the doctors Thank you the fresh sub, hate man. their life isn't improving anything for us. They're out there to save you. They're 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 there to get you back on your feet. Making their life hell is I I feel like it's counterproductive. And I don't understand why people do it. Like EMS has never done anything to you. They're there to help you. And I feel like that's how it should be going forward, is that we, we, we need EMS. No, you don't. If they, True. if, like, if we, they don't need us. I guess they kind of do because it's their job, but at the same time, they can refuse. If you're Yo, being a piece Ray, of shit. thank you the fresh sub. Why would they help you? I, people need to realize that we need them. They don't really need us. And I, I support EMS because, again, they've saved my, my life multiple times. Um, <clears throat> like, look, I can, like, say, yo, we need EMS, but most of the people in this crowd probably had their friend put them in a vehicle and drive them to the hospital instead of waiting. That, the solution is not getting everyone to be like, yo, dude, we got to love the EMS and get in the ambulance. We need to make people want to use the ambulance. And that means get them the helicopter so they can get to the people quicker. We need to like maybe get them 
the medical stuff. So if you take the ambulance, maybe the ambulance can help, like, you know, patch you up a little bit by the time you get to hospital. And the third, as I mentioned before at the beginning, is that when someone calls for EMS, there should be a way for that EMS to alert the person who 911 that they are on the way so they're not left there guessing whether they're gonna die bleeding out for 20 minutes or an ambulance gonna come so i think they already do that i'm pretty sure they say ems en route if they're on the I, way i think a better system than responding to the 911 because sometimes you use your alert system and that does not uh let the person know any have any feedback so while ems is doing what I think your best of your power, you need the tools that going to make people want to work with you even more. I, just one quick follow up. Um, you said Many that you know, everyone was in favor of getting EMS a helicopter, but you know, you don't want to pay for EMS vehicles, but I don't understand why, because like there's a big difference no. between paying for like a no. group six vehicle and like paying for an ambulance. Well, like, let's ambulance be for everybody. Let's be clear. Uh, it was state mandated that we would not use state funds to directly fund the police uh, and the uh, LSMG. That's oh, just, that's that, that, that is how it is. That is how it's going to be forever. Uh, in order to compensate for this, pretty much almost immediately after I received the power to raise their pay, I did uh, to essentially give them a budget uh, so that we could compensate for, you know, in the past, them getting free vehicles and free, uh, like, you know, basically stuff right from the state funds. Can't you just like funnel a portion of their pay into like a pool so that they can use that to buy a helicopter? Uh, I would heavily encourage uh, anyway. Uh, in fact, that's what I tried telling the LSPD before I was gifted those powers was to, you know, work together. Uh, you may have seen one of them hop up on stage earlier in order to uh, grill me about my finances. Uh, that's Matt Rhodes. Uh, he did that because I grilled him about his finances and asked him, you know, how come in, in this brotherhood of the LSPD, it's so hard for you guys to fathom maybe pooling your money together to get new vehicles and stuff to uh, make it easier to do your job. Um, I don't know how the EMS feel about that. That said, they shouldn't have to worry about that because I've raised their pay to such a level that that level of cooperation probably will not be necessary, except for maybe potentially in the case of a helicopter, which Yo, will probably I should be, be like, if, EMS if should it be able will to ever sell, be available, uh, millions of dollars. Tourniquets and other equipment. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh-huh. What up? Uh, so, I, uh, I wanted to ask, um, if, other than obviously tugs, if you guys would be open to the suggestion of not a time of day restriction on walking, but an hourly maximum walking week, uh, would both of you be open to that as well? Because I think that's a good suggestion, personally. Oh, thank you. Um, so, I did, we, myself, my wife, as chief of staff and uh, Michael Simone, we did flirt briefly with the idea of imposing a uh, a maximum work week or like hour work, like it was like forty hours or some shit. Yeah, because uh, at the it at the be end of the better, I believe, than at, a time of day restriction. Um, I agree, and the time of day restriction was something that the state decided. It wasn't anything that the Council of Eight decided on. Oh, I know, uh, I know, I'm old. Um, so. Initially, I was for a 40-hour work week or something similar uh, because it would it would give people more time, uh, in theory, to socialize. But the problem is is it it doesn't give them that time. If it, it forces them to do that, yeah. yeah at the at the end of the day, um, except for in probably very extreme cases, it, it is not it's not in the best interest of the people of Los Santos to be forced to do anything. Agreed. So I, I personally yeah. am not for a 40-hour uh, work week. I, I, if someone wants to, to wake up and go to work, then please. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, if you I'm want gonna, me to we, expand a little uh, on your question from my earlier answer, uh -huh. uh, I think sure. that I'm very much for 20, roughly. 20 is a lot of time for people to be working in Los Santos. And uh, I think if people are able to work nonstop and... Uh, what that does is you now, as a person that have a life beyond just sitting in a truck all day, um, have to compete with people with millions of dollars uh, for anything. And that is shit. Now, I do think it should be like soft cap. So 20 hour. After 20 hour, your next 20 is 50% pay and so on and so forth. 
progressive system. Yeah, just to not just sound like I'm I'm agreeing with everything. I I feel like people need to work when they want to work in a in a way that isn't too much. Uh, in terms of how many hours, I can't say, but you know, like a normal work week is probably what would what would be the best. Yeah, I, feel, I get the feeling that from from a lot of people that the sort of consensus is that they feel like they're falling behind because there is people who wake up, get in a truck, drive, 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 speak to someone, drive, drive, drive. And those who enjoy, you know, actually socializing and as Tugs rightly put it, have a life. Uh, I feel like some of them feel like they're falling behind when they're not in the reality, in, in, the, in the grand scope of things, but they do feel like they are. And it's causing this sort of infection of the, of the, of the mind where people believe that they need to be walking more than they actually really need Legalize to. weed? Um, that's just my two cents on that. Yeah, um, that is not... Can oh, I say yeah. something? It, it's, it's why I, like, having people get paid more so they can work less is basically to give them the freedom to do like hang out with their friends you don't have to work 24 7 they don't have to you know that doesn't make any sense because they're competing all the time even tugs they knows this from experience do something else that doesn't Events, make sense because you're with, literally friends, end up competing bar, et cetera, et cetera. with everyone on limited resources i still feel like it will still cause problems with information because <laughs> we will still have exactly individuals who don't have much of a life to speak of um right basically you know, causing massive spikes in inflation, which yep. is what we saw with the vehicles. Exactly. Uh, when yep. manufacturers decided that they were going to start sending vehicles for all. There is always going to be, I don't, I wouldn't call it an issue, but there's always going to be people that will focus on there. There's people that like to work more than there is people. You know, uh, I, I, I'm not saying that there's more people that like to work, but there's people that focus on their job and, making it rather than having fun with your friends they sacrifice the freedom to work over uh, i don't know the, how you could do it you could probably you know the social aspect of, of <laughs> hanging out with people and and working less you could do like that audits and shit i don't some, know that's just what they choose over somebody else i don't think we as the mayor's office or me can really do much about that if you're fine Wait. with working all the time not hanging out with your friends then I don't think I can step in and say, hey, you should calm down. You should, you know, hang out with, with your friends. That is what they choose. Mm. Yeah, it could be. I, I, I would have Marcy on this piece, but to keep it short. I'm just going to go to another um, question I had, which was, um, mm. is there any possibility? And I'm, I'm talking about this from a, what can, <coughs> is this even a possibility uh, of a progressive tax system? Uh, yes! Such as, you know, based on net worth, assets owned and such uh, to keep people on a level playing field and ensure that the budget has sufficient funds whilst also not you know making the less affluent uh, pay out pay out you know what they cannot afford i'm not i'm not entirely opposed to that idea the problem becomes um what are the what would they get taxed on right like, like hmm. what part of their income like, I like their this income guy. tax like how are they getting income tax like how, how do you classify them like it, how does the system classify them as making a certain amount of money therefore they're going to be hit with more income tax uh I'm not opposed to that I'm not uh the functionality Chief isn't there I don't know when um, it would, yeah, have that... ever, it would have ever come that said if if I had an option to uh I don't know uh tax uh, Marlo Stanfield uh uh, twelve percent on income tax instead of uh, the current six percent. Um, so long as he stayed above three million dollars in his bank account or whatever, for sure, uh, I'm down on that. Uh, and that would make it easier to give more money to everyone else who isn't a millionaire. <coughs> yeah, by like a we, lot. We, we did a talk about we did talk about like a luxury kind of tax, which I also kind of approve of. It, but it's only just been a talk so far. Nah, luxury tax. I think it's good. Uh, I understand there's, there's a functionality problem there with the way that the budgets are probably run. Um, yeah. But, so it was more a question of, can it happen if it, if the functionality does become, uh, you know, if, the, if you figure out a way to do it, would you do it? Um, Tugs, would you do it? Uh, would this be based on, like, 
they already have the money and they're spending it or is this like the future money they earn uh this would be so see you know see like the example max gave one guy has you know uh he's got like maybe 500k in the bank account he's got yep. a million and a half dollar car he's got a million dollar house so net worth total he's got three million dollars so everything he earns in the future is taxed to you know uh, 20 percent versus someone who's just fresh off the plane yep. and is doing the first job gets taxed like um two percent some something along those lines so i think um i i think uh with sort of the thing we talked about earlier with finding a way to like limit um how much you can work uh i think over time this is going to would sort this kind of thing out um i'm not a big fan of taking away something that someone already earned through taxing and it also sound really complicated and a lot of paperwork and fuck paperwork, dude. All right. Yeah, that was it. Thank you, Mac. Uh, checker shirt fella. <coughs> Hello. Um, what's your name, sir? So well, my I, name's Toolbit. Uh, sorry, uh, can you guys both speak up? I, I couldn't hear the other guy. Can you hear me, Kyle? No, I can hear you too, bit. Uh, Hello? Hi. My name Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Yo, I, right. I'm Toolbit from the South Side. <laughs> feel me, I have a couple of questions for the community, feel me? Sure. I just got a couple of questions that I got to ask for each candidate and shit. And, and, all right, all right. So, so you know, this, this is the last question, everybody. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, continue, Toolbit. I'm sorry. All right. All right, Kyle. So... For, I have this little questionnaire that uh, I got to ask, you know, y'all can answer it however y'all want to answer it. My first question is, feel me, this going to help us determine who we want to vote for for uh, for the mayor and shit, right? The first question is, no, what is Tugs is, flavor pack Tugs of is mostly here. Uh, uh, beef. Beef? Wait, yep. what's the question? <sighs> I said beef, guy. <laughs> Anybody else, Kyle? Oh, sorry. Can you repeat the question? What's, what's your God. favorite flavor pack of Roman noodle, Kyle? Uh, there is a right answer to this. I honestly, I'm gonna say, isn't there? There's a shrimp flavor, right? <laughs> one said yeah. beef, one said shrimp. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh lord! All right, yeah. all right. I, 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 don't take I like, I like the one that here. come in the red and black packet and it burn your asshole, dude. That shit, good. He's talking about Bulldog, I think. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Two times right, spicy right. Bulldog, baby. So <laughs> alright, alright. What's your favorite flavor? Kool-Aid. <laughs> alright, alright. There you go. Alright. Red. Red, red. Alright, alright. Wait, what? What? Right, what? What's the question, dude? Fa fa favorite flavor Kool-Aid, huh? Oh, uh, Kool-Aid, dude? Or the, or the blue one, dude? All right, all right, you fell in dramatically. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Full House or Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Uh, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. All right, all right. Yeah, Fresh Prince. Okay, okay. The fuck? I only nineteen, bro. All right, all right. You, you, you definitely not getting my vote. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, I also can't see. come, so I don't think it's gonna work, dude. What? All right, mac and cheese <laughs> or coleslaw? <laughs> All right, so this the this the bonus questionnaire here. All right, all right. What's the two main characters off the Boondocks? Uh, Huey and what's his fucking name? I you have... know this, you're not a real Riley. Riley. All right, all right. All right. What, how about the next person? What do you think, huh? Yeah, Huey and right. <laughs> What do you say? Uh, Huey and I, I forgot the second one. Sorry. Mm, 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 mm. What the fuck? All right. And last person, you, you got to yeah, answer. Dude, you... what did Bumo ask question, dude? Yeah, you, you definitely not getting my vote. Cause... All right. That's that's all I had. Cause... We're going we're gonna to dis discuss this in the community. Feel me? And we're going to decide what we're going to do. All right. So All for right. sure, that, that last guy definitely ain't getting our vote, cuz. Yo, okay, yo, wait, hold good. on. Can I ask you a question, dude? What's up, cuz? Yo, what's your favorite Fortnite skin, dude? 
Fortnite. Hey, cuz we couldn't afford Fortnite. The last game I played was Super Mario. What do you mean if for free, Based. dude? What do, what the hey, fuck? Hey, cuz you gotta buy the PlayStation, cuz. You gotta buy the PlayStation. I couldn't afford that shit. Sure, it took me a good 20 years just to get a Nintendo. Hey, if, you, if you'd stop stabbing cops, maybe you'd, yeah, you'd be able to afford it. Dog is free. You mind your own business, Frost. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> don't don't worry. I'm a, I'm gonna go patrol the south side in a few. Don't worry. They gonna thank, get it. Thank you, right, Two Bit, for keeping the south side safe. I appreciate Keep, you and the on community. On six zero, cuz. On six zero. Hey, appreciate you, cuz. Thank and, you for letting uh, me go ahead yeah. and answer my questions. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, no problem. Uh, appreciate your time. And, that is it, I believe. I think we are um, good. Checkered guy. Uh, hold on, Mr. Mayor. Right. Che checker guy had a quick question. Up. It's gonna be quick. Yeah. Oh, checker yeah. guy. Is he had a, a quick question. I thought you guys were. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Is this right. a uh, mayor mayor debate at the Dust Bowl? Yes. Uh, Vinewood Bowl. Yeah. It, yeah. Where where do I check in? Here. It, yeah. I apparently I'm supposed to be up here debating. Oh my God. Wait. What Wait, you're you're a little late there, son. Uh, Douglas, I'm Douglas. running independent. Douglas. Is Mr. Loftus from the, uh... Plemons Family Furniture yeah, Company. Yeah, Plemons Company. Family Furniture, yep. Go. Cool. Wait, no, I know you. You ran last election, didn't you? Yeah, he's running again. Yeah. You, you're the guy who got zero votes. Yeah, oh. I forgot to vote. What, you didn't even vote on yourself? No, no, I was uh, I was in my motel room watching skin flicks. Yeah, word. <laughs> I can vote for that guy. Yeah, dude. You uh, watching yeah, that? Yeah, where do I check in? I, I know I'm a. I, I got an email. It was. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get into my email. I, I'm not too good with uh, technology. Uh. Um, and so I, I walked down here from Polita. Uh, that took yeah. I don't know how long. Uh, I thought we had to go to the stadium down there by the uh, big ocean. Yep. Uh, that was wrong. So I walked back into the city to Senior Buns, and a pleasant lady told me that it was being held here at the Dust Bowl. So I walked up here, and uh, yeah, I, I just got here. I didn't know where to check in about well, uh, five minutes ago. Douglas, um, I saw that you were standing in line for probably about 45 minutes. Um, thank you for waiting. Right. Uh, we, uh, we're done. We're done. All right. I, I ain't got to answer shit. Nah. No, nope, you're good. Right, perfect. Vote, vote, vote Douglas. All right. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. I'm sure some of the candidates will stick around to speak to you afterwards or they may not up to them. Uh, if you do have any questions, I highly suggest you reach out to these folks uh, <coughs> whenever you may see them out and about. Voting will last one week until Saturday around uh, 7 Eastern. So uh, just, you know, consider your votes carefully. Remember, you only have one. Uh, so choose wisely and uh, best luck to all the candidates. Thank you. Thank Talk you. to us. We do care. Yep. We want to hear what you have to say. Um, <laughs> yay. Hooray! Thank you, everyone who stuck around. Hey, it's kind of a, a long endeavor. How's my What's fart smell, today? Bobby? Huh? Bobby. Smell, Bobby. <laughs>